I'll introduce it. Here we are. All right, so hey, so we're gonna go to the squat real quick. Josh is actually coming from actually a pretty big athletic background. He used to wrestle, really did a lot of weightlifting in high school. Yep. And uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, actually. So, yeah, Josh Haller. I'm a professional mixed martial artist. I fight at 145 pounds. I train with Jeremy Horn. And I'm um, here to get some fitness in with my good buddy Craig. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go over, because we fixed his squat already, so we're going to actually come back to where he started squatting. So you can kind of see what fixes we made, and it's actually going to help him save his knees and hips and ankles and everything else. So, all right, so first off, what we're going to start, let's go ahead and get on the bar. Okay, he's got a good setup, good setup. Okay, so straight up the game, he's got a really wide stance. And it's okay to have your feet turned out. Later we're going to actually correct that and I'll show you why. So go ahead and you take a squat and hold the bottom position for you. So why when we get into the middle right there, we can see knees are going over the inside of the toe, which actually is creating a slightly valgus knee and is actually going to kind of pinch some stuff. When you come out, come out dirty. There we go. So as he came out, you could see the first amount of tension was loaded was on his knee. So go ahead and you squat knees forward again like we did before. So go one to the back, that one, knees front. Okay. Knees first, breaking your knees and then knees. So boom, we're loading the knee, we're actually stressing the knee out fully. He's in a good position. We have a little bit of reversal going on in the back here, so we're gonna pop out of that again. And he's loading that knee again. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna correct movement. Okay, I want him actually kind of popping his hips out, and I don't want his shin not going past vertical until the very last second. He does a really good job of it now. So pay attention to his shin, pay attention to where his torso is. When he gets down to the squat, he doesn't arch his back. He's not in an overextended position where his belly's pressing out. He's vacuumed in, his abs are tight, and he's gonna get, which allows him to get deeper into that hole without them reversing that little butt kip that we're talking about. So go ahead and turn your feet in a little bit for me. Now, we want to go knees out by creating torque. You see how he's creating torque right now? That's actually firing the glutes. So when you first enter the squat, Glutes first, create that torque. Now go ahead and drop into that butt back first. Boom! Knees vertical, vertical, and the very bottom can get all the way down to that hole. Now we're in the hole, his knees can go past just fine. When we come out, we're gonna take hips up first, and then he's gonna accelerate up. So these go vertical. Go ahead, come out. Boom! Look at that. So it went vertical real quick, and his glutes came through to finish the process, so it doesn't, it's not a quad dominant move anymore. Let's go ahead and hit that a few more times, nice and slow. Butt back, torso's good. Vertical, vertical, he's coming back out vertical, boom, money. So that's how we're gonna correct the squat for you guys. See if you can take some tips. It'll save your life when it comes to going heavy. Thanks guys. Thanks Jeremy.